today I wanted to talk about a kitten I used to have who I miss dearly. Her name was Thor. I wrote a little um, journal entry <clears throat> on my Gaia yesterday about her. <clears throat> it's pretty much like a mini blog for those of you who are unfamiliar. Thor was a kitten I had in about 2017 or so in SoCal. I found her one day <clears throat> abandoned by her mother under a shed, scared and hungry. I brought some food out to her and placed it in front of the shed. She went for the food right away and was meowing while eating. It was the saddest and cutest thing I'd ever seen. <clears throat> After she ate a little, I picked her up and brought her into the house I was living in at the time. It was my dad's old place, <clears throat> and my dad let me keep her. Let me show a um, picture of her real quick. <clears throat> Here she is, my precious little Thor. <laughs> hmm. The way Thor got her name was my nephew's idea. Since my sister has a black cat, named Loki, my nephew thought, why not call her Thor, and it stuck. Back then, I was in a pretty miserable situation, so at first I just called her Kitty. I wasn't very creative or caring when it came to names. Unfortunately, I was living in a very toxic household with a very nasty individual there who smoked and it made the place even nastier. Thor started to get skin irritations and fleas. I took Thor to get fixed, groomed, and flea dipped. I took care of her as best as I could and as I could and as much as I could afford. We we eventually flea bombed a place. It mostly helped, but they came back after a while. When I first when I first brought in Thor, I soon taught her where to use the bathroom, i.e. the litter box. To train her, I picked her up gently, showed her her own poo, and then moved her to the litter box. She immediately got it. I think I learned that trick from online research, if I remember correctly. I didn't mind picking up after her, even when she puked up hairballs. <laughs> I loved her so much. She also had a weird sounding meow. I thought it sounded like that of a broken cat robot. <laughs> it was too precious. I, at one point, bought her a black collar with white moons and stars on it and I still have it for a while I wore it as a bracelet <laughs> I still have it and keep it on the the shrine shelves where my dad's ancestors ashes are here's a picture of the bracelet I mean not the bracelet the collar <laughs> it had like a little black bell on it too but I don't know what happened to it Thor loved me as much as I loved her She'd sleep on the pillow next to my head and would often cry at my feet when I was on my PC to be picked up and put on my lap. I loved her company. Eventually I stopped letting her sit on my lap because she started to attack me when, when I let her on my lap, which made me paranoid to do that anymore, sadly. Why? Why did you do that, Thor? <laughs> I read that cats can just be like that sometimes. After a while, I decided it might have been healthier for Thor to live outside, and it was. Her skin started to clear up, and she even had less fleas. Like, ironically. <laughs> After Thor was an outside cat, she would follow me on my walks around the park. She would run after me meowing, and it was the cutest, the cutest thing ever. Shortly after Thor started living outside, the neighbor st uh, started to complain because Thor was using the bathroom on his fake grass. My dad at the time was getting pretty old and deathly ill. He decided he was going to take her and let her loose in the park. I didn't even, I didn't even have enough time to think about that or talk about another solution. It was something he just decided to do one day. I wish I would have thought to speak out more against it, but I was going through a very rough time back then. The, whole, the household I was living in was extremely toxic in every sense of the word, and I was often a wreck. So the next day my dad took Thor in a cat carrier, and I said my goodbyes to her. Yeah, I, I seriously still, I still remember that. 
I, I remember that so deeply. I was absolutely crushed. When my dad came back from the park, he told me that she ran off with another cat that came out of nowhere as soon as he let her out. It comforted me to a small degree. To this day, I miss Thor greatly. Please don't hate on my dad, though, as he was a good person, but in his last few years, he was just a little off as he was pretty old and sick and constantly stressed. It's even possible that it wasn't his idea and was that of his wife, who was an absolute evil, manipulative piece of shit, who often came up with terrible ideas that my dad just went along with due to not wanting to deal with any drama. I miss Thor so, so, so much, and thinking of this story makes me incredibly sad. Mainly the part where <clears throat> I had to let her go. I will always look back to my time with Thor fondly, as she was my precious fur baby, who I often miss. Over the years, I've made many tributes to Thor with my art and even naming gray and white tabby cats after her. <clears throat> I have countless gray tabby cats on Minecraft named Thor. I always name gray tabby cats Thor in games. <clears throat> I made a Minecraft player skin of Thor. I made emotes for her in my Discord server and now on my Twitch. And my Gaia Online avatar will often have an item called Rascal the Alley Cat, which is I use as a representation of her. <clears throat> I try to celebrate what I once had with Thor rather than think about the loss. It's too much to think about, so I try to keep positive and look back at the memories of her fondly. <clears throat> I will always have a special place in my heart for Thor. I love you forever, Thor.